They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Necessity, not design. But I'm glad you appreciate the richness of my experience. Yours has been no less exciting. But even with all your experience, it has not been easy. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Perhaps. But I couldn't take the risk. An elder brain leaves no room for error. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company, your mind. Sometimes I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. with a rush of feeling, the Emperor's feeling. Heat, care, arousal. breath merging into yours, cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face, its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? A memory stirs, diagrams in a book you read long ago. The Mind Flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles.
want often more, the single greatest experience of your life. Pleasure upon pleasure, as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. You can read the Emperor's expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. Don't worry. I'll make sure they don't remember a thing. Come. It's time to get dressed. We have work to do. We have communed with our minds entire at the deepest level. What else is there to say? We are bonded now, and it is time to consummate love with war. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions, and through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an Olivic can do. You have experienced the pleasure for yourself. Imagine. Some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. It would make us even more compatible. As well as radically increasing our chances of success against the Elder Brain. 